Fox Carolina is committed to you and right now we are still waiting on removal of the shoots on I-85 after an eight vehicle pileup involving an 18 wheeler led to the deaths of three people last week. DOT says they expect to remove some of those concrete walls today. So Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live in Cherokee County monitoring the work. Lindsay, what's it look like now? Well, right now, um, SCDOT workers are hard at work this morning. They've been out here for hours. Now, you can see the progress is already underway. Now, that noise you're hearing is that jackhammer right now. They're breaking up the concrete to widen the road. Now, we've been out speaking with a lot of truck drivers this morning. I know a lot of people are excited about those chutes coming down, but one man did say he's worried about the workers here on the side of the road. Now, when those chutes come down, he's worried about their safety. Now, we're on standby waiting and watching for those concrete walls to get on out of here. We've seen a lot of local leaders and people weigh in on the conditions of I-85. So far, SCDOT has decreased the speed limit to 35 miles an hour and revealed they're planning to do away with at least the first five miles of the shoot from exits 81 to 86. Now, they also plan on increasing signage for trucks at the North Carolina line. However, Cherokee County Administrator Steve Ratton says this isn't enough. He wants to see even more signage, adding that trucks should stay out of the chute entirely and be directed towards the right lanes. Now, officials we've talked to say the widening project will be a good thing once it's finished. But we did go out and talk to truckers on this this morning. One man tells us it's not the barriers causing the accidents, it's how people are driving. Take a listen. People just come on the road, they don't give you room. You know, we're out here working every day. You know, I like to go home, you know. SCDOT says driver error is also to blame, but says construction hasn't helped. Now, the chute is expected to come down well within the next 90 days, but road, the road widening project is expected to take another two years. Now, of course, we are monitoring the progress here on I-85. We're patiently waiting for those chutes to come down, of course. Once we get any updates, we'll be sure to pass it along. Back to you.